What's up guys? Part two, sweating horn sheets. This thing's been in for like three days. I set it in Tuesday. Um, just in the bag with the water like I discussed. And uh, horns are ready to come off and then the skull's ready to be macerated. So I just reached in the bag and I could feel that they were loose. Right here, it stinks pretty bad. You're gonna wanna wear gloves. You don't want any of this stuff in you. That's it. Your horns. That one sticks a little. Sometimes I just need a little encouragement. There it is. That uh, inside membrane will come right off. There's your horns. 105 degrees for three days, the horns popped right off. And uh, that's it. This thing goes straight back into maceration. I'm checking at this point for any teeth that might be missing or anything in case there's something left in the bag, but there isn't. So it's ready to roll. Sometimes uh, the fat, stuff like that, will cause the skull to float. It's as simple as putting a brick on it, holding it down. Um, that's what I'm going to be doing in this case. And uh, we'll go from there. It'll be about three to five days, and the skull will be clean and ready for degrease. After that, again, it's 105, 110 degrees. It's a low temperature. So I'm going to set a couple bricks on this thing. Let it sink to the bottom, and we'll go from there. I'll show you that real quick. Okay, see? Nastiness. And that horn core sticking out, that's not a big deal. We're going to cut those back anyway. Just like that. Holds it below the water. That is all you need. Again, thermostat, it's 110 degrees. Uh, what am I going to do with these horn cores now? I'll fill them with soapy water or ammonia for four or five days. Then I'll pack them full of borax and um, stick them in the freezer until they are ready to polish up and put back on the skull. That's it though. A lot of short steps and just time in between. Patience. Patience and low temperature will create high quality. Thanks guys.